Hello, everyone. We have converted the Mini Lathe G0768 into a CNC machine using a conversion ball screw kit purchased from Billy Dirks at bdtoolsusa.com, two ClearPath SDSK 2311S RLN servo motors purchased from technic.com, M16D motherboard with a Pokies 57E processor, Mach 4 applications, and other parts and accessories purchased from Arturo Duncan at cnc4pc.com. Everything turned out very well, but we were not completely satisfied with the work of the original spindle motor of the G0768. We wanted to get the full 100% control of the spindle in every single step, so we tried to replace it with a servo motor of the same power and, if possible, of the same size. After some search efforts, we found a Chinese company, Lichuan, at servo.xlichuan.com that produces servo motors suitable for our purposes. This company also sells its products through eBay. So we'll be showing examples of their products listed on eBay, which is more convenient and easier to understand than their website. Let's see what came of it. We preferred a motor with a 60 mm frame, a length of 154 mm, and a shaft diameter of 14 mm. You can buy such a motor through eBay or on the Lichuan website. Shipping is not cheap, but very fast. We only waited four days for delivery. Now that we have decided on the motor, it is necessary to think about transferring the rotation from the motor to the spindle. Let's keep in mind the shaft of the motor is 14 millimeters and the spindle shaft is 28 millimeters. The most optimal is the timing belt. It does not slip, does not require a strong tension, which reduces the wear of the motor and the spindle bearings, and almost silently. The servo motor has a built-in encoder, and in order to use it, we need a gear ratio of one to one. Therefore, we need pulleys for the motor and for the spindle with the same external diameters and the same number of teeth. We have determined that the XL standard pulleys have 40 teeth. The belt width for the pulley is 10 millimeters. We calculated the length and got the belt 214 XL. So we need two XL 40T pulleys with an outer diameter of 64 millimeters. One pulley should have an internal diameter of 14 millimeters for the motor shaft and the other one 28 millimeters for the spindle. We were able to find suitable pulleys on eBay but the seller did not have a pulley with an internal diameter of 28 millimeters. So we bought a pulley with a diameter of 25 millimeters instead, and then machined it to 28 millimeters. Okay, we ordered everything we needed and received it. Now let's get to work with the lathe. We disassembled the machine, removed the chuck, the spindle motor, and the motor mounting plate and we already machined the spindle pulley to 28 millimeters and installed it on the spindle. Here we are looking at the original G0768 motor and the servo motor received from the Lichuan company. They have almost the same length and the servo motor is even thinner, which is convenient for us. We know for sure that it will fit in the place of the original motor. The original G0768 motor is a 110 volt DC motor and has a max speed of 5,250 RPM. However, Due to the gear ratio of 2.5 to 1, the maximum spindle speed was limited to 2000 RPM. The new servo motor is a 220 volt AC motor and has a max speed of 3000 RPM. And since the gear ratio from the motor to the spindle is 1 to 1, the maximum spindle speed will now be 3000 RPM, which is perfect if we are going to turn wood or aluminum. This motor mounting plate is made of thick and durable steel. The mounting holes of the motor did not line up, so we opened up the holes, and also opened a recess under the front of the servo motor with a diameter of 50 millimeters and a depth of 3 millimeters. Here the motor is already attached to the panel. The motor mounting holes did not have a thread, but we tapped it with a M6X1, which made the mounting process much easier. The motor is firmly fixed and sits well. Let's put the mounting plate in its place.
Everything fit perfectly. Now we set the timing belt pulley on the servo motor. The pulley sat firmly. Okay, now we put on the belt. The mounting plate of the spindle motor is designed so that it will allow tensioning and loosening of the belt without any extras. We make the belt tension normal and fasten the panel. Please note, the timing belt does not require strong tension. So the mechanical part of the replacement spindle motor is completed. To see how to connect the motor and make it work, watch the next video.